I just want to congratulate Mike Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. This time yesterday, nobody was thinking of Mike. And then we put out the word, and now he's the Speaker of the House. Yep, as sure as the sun rises in the east, once again, Lucifer, in the red hat, unleashes another plague, MAGA Mike, on the backs of the American people. If you don't think that moving from Kevin McCarthy to MAGA Mike Johnson shows the ascendance of this movement and where the power in the Republican Party truly lies, uh, then, then you're not paying attention. Right-wing politicians nearly always end up having a bunch of bizarre personal scandals and or egregious corruption scandals hiding in their closets. It's part of why they have to be right-wing politicians. It's the only portion of the political spectrum where supporters simply don't care about things like scandals. I don't care if he is in a jail cell. I am one of those people that will vote for him no matter what. Even as we wait for the media to dig up Mike Johnson's lifetime of scandals, Johnson's lifetime of making asinine far-right remarks is already catching up with him. For instance, new footage has been unearthed of Johnson claiming, in 2016, that mass shootings are the result of things like divorce. No, really, he said this. You remember in the late 60s, we invented things like no-fault divorce laws. We invented uh, the sexual revolution. We invented um, uh, radical feminism. We invented legalized abortion in 1973, where the, where the, the state, the government, sanctions the killing of the unborn. I mean, we know that we're living in a completely amoral society. And so people say, how can a young person go into their schoolhouse and open fire on their classmates? Because we've taught a whole generation, a couple of generations now of Americans, that there is no right and wrong. The public embarrassment of not having a speaker forces the GOP into this massive blunder. What Mike Johnson is about to find out the hard way is that there are two different career tracks for right-wing politicians. You can either spend your career saying the kinds of patently insane things that appeal to far-right lunatic voters and become a minor king on the far right, see Jim Jordan, or you can spend your career pretending to be a reasonable moderate so that you can find your way into a leadership position, see Kevin McCarthy. But you can't do both. MAGA Mike has clearly spent his political career marrying himself to far-right, batshit crazy positions so that he could move up the far-right ranks. But when he saw a fluke opening last week in the race for speaker, he took it, even though he spent his entire career saying and doing the kinds of things that will make it very difficult for him to last long in a party leadership position. So yeah, Mike Johnson stepped in it, not in 2016 when he made this remark, because that was the career path he was on at the time. He stepped in it last week when he decided to run for speaker, knowing he has the kind of resume that'll instantly turn moderate voters against him. Johnson is more dangerous than Donald Trump because Johnson actually wants to make America into a Christian theocracy. You know, we don't live in a democracy because a democracy is two wolves and a lamb deciding what's for dinner. Okay, it's not just majority rule. It's a constitutional republic. The founders set that up because they followed the biblical admonition on what a civil society is supposed to look like. Certainly there's a move to keep religion out of politics and and to rigidly enforce the so-called separation of church and state. Many of us have been working for this day our entire adult lives, and um, it is a great, uh, joyous occasion. Roe v. Wade gave constitutional cover to the elective killing of unborn children in America, period. You think about the implications of that on the economy. We're all struggling here to to cover the bases of Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and all the rest. If we had all those able-bodied workers in the economy, we wouldn't be going upside down and toppling over like this. The mere existence of Speaker Mike Johnson should shift at least three to five moderate House seats in the Democrats' favor in 2024. Once again, House Republicans bowed to the demands of a loser, making a huge mistake in the process by elevating this guy. Sick, sick. These are sick people. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer.